yesterday, essentially. Not to the date, but one year ago. That was the first time that was said. It was Coach Murphy. And I told you I was standing across from him on the field. It was the Thursday practice before the Western meeting. Essentially one year ago. Keep your feet moving. If you keep your feet moving, you're going to knock them on their butts. If you knock them on their butts, they will quit. Keep your feet moving. If you keep your feet moving, you will knock them on their butts. If you knock them on their butts, they will quit. It's true. It's true. It's not coincidence it was said by that man. It was not coincidence it was said at that practice. It was not coincidence it was said before that game. And it's not coincidence that we still say it today. It's not by chance. Any of you that still have a belief that you are here by chance, that you're just here because the wind blew in the right direction, that you were born just in the right district, that you moved just into the right district, that you are playing on just the right team, that it's just by chance that you are sitting here, you need to turn around and look at your history. You are not here by chance. You are designed for what you're about to do tonight. And I'm not saying that as a motivational cliche. I say it because it is a fact. It is a fact that I can prove. You look at any of you. The way that your muscles are designed. The way that your joints are designed. The way that your brain is designed. The way that your legs are designed. The way that your body fits together. The way that you have balance to be able to hold yourself upright. The way that you are able to take an object and throw it through the air. You're designed for this. It is not by chance. Each one of you young men were designed, created, predestined, not by chance, chosen to be in this room at this very moment. It's a fact. It's a fact. You were created to do this. It is no mistake. It is not by chance. It's not fate. It's a fact. One of these days, that is what you face. You keep your feet moving, and you keep your feet moving for what? For what do you keep your feet moving for? You say you keep your feet moving to conquer, but what are you looking to conquer? You're looking to conquer a lot of money? You're looking to conquer a big house? You're looking to conquer the right girl that you can marry? You're looking to conquer just the right stuff, just so you can be comfortable on this earth? Well, let me tell you something. When that day comes, it all burns up. Just like I talked to you about last time with the gold and the dross. It's all going to burn up. There is nothing that you can acquire on this earth. There is nothing that you can do. There's nothing that you can say. There is no thing that you can do to acquire the right amount of stuff that it's going to last for eternity. You have that in mind and that's what drives your feet every day? That's a person that has Jesus in their hearts. You're on his left. You're on his right. And he says, since the creation of the world, I prepared a place for you. I thought of you way before I even created the oceans. And I wanted life with you. With you. With you. With you. That's what he wants. Here's my question. Are you going to keep your feet moving and want it back? Or are you just going to want stuff for yourself? Guys, tonight, the only way you're going to win this championship is if you think of this group as a team, as one family. If you keep your feet moving in order just to get it for yourself, you're going to lose, I guarantee you. But if this group keeps their feet moving as one unit to conquer, thinks about others, does these things, practices these principles I've put in, in front of you, victory, victory is something that's attainable. Let's pray. Father, I give you thanks. Dale Brewer has meant a lot to me in the past four years. He's helped us prepare for football games, and he's given us the word of God. Uh, Dale Brewer has done a lot for me. He's been there through injuries the past couple years that I've been here, and he's helped me get closer to God. What has Dale Brewer done for me? He has uh, prayed for me through many injuries, after games, before games, always asked him if I'm okay, and asked if I need prayer or anything. I mean, multiple things and gave me motivational speeches to get me ready for football, and I'm very thankful for him to be the preacher for our football team. 
Dale has been with me through my high school career and has prayed with me and tried to get me closer to God and has prayed with me through injuries and yeah. Dale Groover has uh, helped the team through many hard things and the good times and the bad times and everything else starting the season 4-0 and then what happened after that. I'm just thankful for him and his speeches before the games. And yeah. Welcome to LA. 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 Bright lights and stars. Welcome to LA. Where we rhyme and ball. Welcome to LA. If you ain't from here. Welcome to LA. No, you wanna come here. Welcome to LA. Welcome to LA.